Hi, let's do makeup with the Project Pan products and update you on how it's going. So first things first is this primer, the Carewise Beautiful Primer. I haven't been using it for, like I haven't been using it a lot, but it is going, like we will use it for sure before the expiry date. So that's good. I only have like five, 10 minutes before I have to go. So we're gonna hurry this one up. This one is not in Project Pen, but it's the Say Glowy Skin thing. I think I need to put it in the project panel. So just priming the skin for it to be nice and glowy. Um, for the care wise, I think the last since the last update I used it maybe twice. So that's not great, but that's fine. We have few empties, I'm pretty sure, and few declutters during this update. Um, then I will do the glossier boy brow it's just the clear one i don't like it i don't think it holds my brows like at all i feel like it's not doing much but i still want to use it up because yeah i don't want to just throw it away but it's like i feel like it it just finished so fast maybe like after like three or two weeks it was pretty much empty and now i cannot get anything out so i'm not sure what's happening there let me know because i saw so many people raving about this product and saying it's like one of the best products for the brows like for the natural kind of days because it doesn't hold too much but it's still does you know and it's really natural but I don't know it doesn't hold for me like at all and as I said it finished like pretty fast but there's tiny bit left so before the end of the year we will for sure finish this one but yeah I'm not sure how I feel about it let me know what's your favorite uh, brow product is because I need to find some other one as well I'm currently also using the La Bouche Rouge Eyebrow Serum Gel and I have been enjoying it, it's been quite nice. Then I'm gonna go in with the uh, It Cosmetics Superhero No Tug Eyeshadow Stick. Again, I put it in my drawer and since the last update I haven't used it like at all. I really need to get back into using it because it's really nice, like it's perfect like one and done eyeshadow. And the shade is really nice, like that's something I always go for. Just need to use it more. I think I need to put on my vanity, kind of the products that in my project pen. I'm rudely interrupted. So one of the things I did finish is this road peptide lip treatment. I honestly loved it. They don't deliver here to the Netherlands, but I definitely want to buy some more. So next thing is I'm gonna use the contour stick. I sometimes underpaint, sometimes overpaint, like depends on my mood, but the contour stick that is in our project pen is the Face Trace Contour Stick by Westman Atelier in Biscuit. This one is almost done. I have like tiniest bit left. I love this one and I repurchased it already. So I have the new one. So when this one finish, we're gonna go in with the new one. If you haven't tried it, definitely recommend. It is an expensive, expensive site, but we like, it did last me a long time when I use it every day. So definitely worth it for me. I literally use it every day. I also have the, a uh, rare beauty stick the bronzer stick but i don't love it as much i don't know uh, this one is nice because they have like four colors i think this one is nice because it's on the cooler side so it's perfect for more pale complexion another thing that we we've been using is this rare beauty mini setting spray or it is setting spray 
mist. Yeah, I've just been using it to kind of blend. It's nice and I do think I will finish it before the New Year's. So that's great. This is almost, it's so perfect. It's so easy to blend. I don't know, I, I love it so much. And the packaging also, it's amazing. It's like, it feels luxurious. Another thing that we are almost done with, I, I honestly think there is like for two uses left, is, oh, everything's fallen, is this Vestment Atelier complexion drops. Uh, Vital skincare complexion drops in Atelier Zero. I do feel like this one would be perfect for winter So I might repurchase. I did purchase something else to try and use but I do love this one a lot I do think there is like for maybe two uses left. There is like not much So we are doing pretty good on using up stuff. So Go us Did you do the project pen this year like or just are you focusing on using any products? I feel like it's such a good way to actually follow up on the usage and like know what you're using, what you're not and focusing on products that you know are going to expire or yeah, coming to an end or you want to try out and focus on using them because they're just been in the back of your drawer. So I do definitely think next year I'm going to do another project pen but I do want to be more ruthless and less. Sometimes I like change up or I put something else in and like rotating project plan. I do feel like I want to have something to focus on like really good. <laughs> yeah, this one is like, it just so natural looking. Next thing, I actually forgot that this one is my pro is in my project pen. It's been in just my work bag, hanging out. Is the NARS Mini Radiant Creamy Concealer. Yeah, it's just the mini because I wanted to try it out. I don't love it. Like, it's okay, but it's not my favorite. I don't know, it's kind of a bit too drying for my taste. But... Yeah, yes, it works. So I do definitely want to use it and it's only mini. I was so surprised like how tiny it is when it came because it was like 14 euros maybe, 12, I don't know, I'm not sure. And it just came and it's like so, so tiny. But yeah, that's what you get with like this kind of testers and like luxury-ish products, I guess. Another thing, another uh, concealer that is in my project pen is this uh, Glossier Balm Concealer. I have shade Very Light 4. I do really enjoy this one. It's, it's creamy, stays on nicely, it's easy to blend. Like, I do really like it so far. It does have the well the after opening life only six months so I don't know how far will I go with it before it expires I mean obviously if it still like smells okay and performs okay I will still keep it I usually keep stuff for like two three months more depends on the product and depends on how it is but I do really try to stick with with the uh, expiration dates because I don't want to risk it. My skin already sometimes acts up, so like I don't want to risk it. Uh, okay, um, next up, I, I just want to try to use everything pretty much that I have. Next up, this this one is the Vestment Atelier Mini uh, Baby Chicks Blush, Blush in Bichette. I feel like I've been trying to use it up for so long and it's still there, so if you want to try uh, Vestment Lier blushes, I feel like Mimi is more than enough. They're quite pigmented and yeah, I, I do really like them. Sometimes I use them straight on my skin, sometimes I just put a bit on my hand and then go in on my skin, but it's, yeah, it's a really, really nice product. Again, like if you haven't tried anything from Vestment Lier, I feel like this one and their contour sticks are like the 
product to try. I actually want to do uh, a little video on like rating or like guide to Vestmentelier products. I tried a lot, not everything, but quite a few products. So I wanted to give you like a little guide on what to buy if you do want to try this brand because I feel like this is like my favorite brand that I have discovered. Yeah, so it's just a little natural, like I don't go much with the blush. Uh, then another blush that is in my project pen, but it is going out, is the Carewise um, Blush and Desire Glow. I repressed it a bit because it was just like on the sides, but I feel like it's time for it to go. I do really, really love this one, but it's like a bit hard to use it because it's like rolling around, so I'm just gonna declutter it. But it's really nice, like neutral orangey shade. It's honestly so perfect. So yeah, she's going, but the packaging is staying. I love that it's refillable. I will definitely get some others. Let's go back to the eyes. Uh, another thing in my project pen is these Rendezvous uh, eye pods from Westmantelier. I love these. I have been trying to use this color more because it's like the only one where it didn't hit the pen on. So we'll use it. Uh, this one is perfect. It's kind of similar to the one we used earlier uh, by It Cosmetic, like the color wise. And another one I'm using it like as a linerish or all over. It's like perfect green color. I, yeah, I really love this one. So let's use a bit of the shade from Pay. I honestly just go whatever, wherever. It's pretty easy to use these. I love them. I I don't know, to me, like they they are really expensive, but to me, they kind of been worth it because I have been actually reaching for them. Like I have some eyeshadows that I literally never use and they just sit around. So the fact that it's been, that I've been actually using them and hitting pan on them, it's, pretty impressive and they're super easy they're buildable but yeah they if you're looking for something super um, what is the name pigmented this is not the one but it is buildable and I feel like I like this more because you can actually mess up and it's not gonna kind of mess up you know yeah, I'm just gonna like literally a tiny bit at here and there. Yeah, just super simple. Uh, I think I will add also a bit on like this sides-ish, well sides in the crease. It's fine. Uh, okay, next one. Let me use some setting spray. I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury. Everyone's favorite. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it for a second to kinda dry. And we will continue. I guess we can do mascara now while we wait. Uh, the mascara that was in my project pen is this Ilia mini mascara, but I put it in my work bag and I forgot about it and I yeah, I'm pretty sure it's expired now. I mean, it says six months on this one. Usually it says three months on the mascara, so I don't know. But I have been loving and only using another one, which we will use, is this mascara from YSL. Is the Lush Clash Mascara in brown. I have been obsessed with this one. First of all, it's brown, which is great. I feel like it's, I've never tried brown mascaras and yeah, I have been loving this one. It stays on, it doesn't transfer. For me, it's really hard to find mascaras that don't transfer on the lower lash. I don't know why, but it's been quite annoying. Maybe I just didn't get lucky with other mascaras, but this one has been quite good. I don't put too much, honestly, just I dip it once and just go in. I would like it to be more
more brown but it's already kind of unsold on the browner mascara rather than black so I kind of want to try also like the blue one or something but I don't know I'm kind of scared to get it I would get like this one but in blue if they had a mini but I haven't seen minis yeah it's I really like this one so this one is kind of the one I've been using for a bit now uh, for uh, for the powder I have been using and trying to use up but not successful uh, this vital press skincare powder from West Mantelier it's the translucent one I have been using it and using <laughs> using honestly every day and it's still like going strong but at least I can see quite a bit of a dip here so hopefully we can use it up sometime next year because I I feel like it's already about to expire no I mean it's fine but in terms of like when I opened it and what is the after opening good date so for the products I have emptied and or decluttered I have been doing a little ranking videos I have posted the um, uh, skincare one but we will also do a little one for makeup there is quite a few products so I think it's gonna be in two parts but if you're interested to see how I rank those products I will post it sometime like in the next few weeks so stay tuned um, the next product is in my project pen. It's this Western Atelier Super Loaded Tinted Highlight in Peau de Soleil. I've been using it uh, sometimes like on no makeup makeup days just as a trio like bronzer blush highlight and been loving it but it's still so much left. I don't know how it's not like I've been using it so much and it's still so much left. But yeah, this one has been great. Oh, why did I tap it? It's like cream. Uh, but yeah, it's it's quite pretty. I also posted in the previous video um, a little giveaway for you. So if you are curious, head over to that video and or you can uh, enter here in this video as well. So subscribe, comment below your favorite skincare or makeup product of 2023 and let me know where where you're based and i will choose somebody on did i say the deadline was 17 i think so you can receive it hopefully before like christmas like a little present it's the burberry perfume um violet something <laughs> the lip stain thingy uh, mascara and and the eyeshadow, like refillable eyeshadow. So I feel like it's really nice. Little giveaway if you wanna enter. Yeah, so this one is like, I don't know, I like it. And next thing, I think we only have one thing left. And lip. Um, next thing, I actually do need to declutter this one already, but I kinda wanna use it a few more times. Yeah, still smells fine. It's Jason Roof, ugh, Jason Roof Reckle Boy. I honestly don't know how to measure like how much we used it because yeah I cannot see or like feel um, I haven't been using it for yeah the last months I haven't been really reaching for it but honestly I just forgot and I feel like it's more of a summer thing for me but I would definitely purchase more freckle things later Okay, and the last thing is lip liner. Uh, this one is in taupe. I have been using more uh, blush and rosewood one because yeah, I don't have it here. I have it in my work bag, so I can I actually use it. But this one is a bit too brown for my taste. But uh, we've been we've been using them, so that's that's good. And another thing for the lips, and yeah, it's the last thing. 
uh, is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm and this one in this shade Vanilla Beige. I have been loving this one. I don't kind of want to get more, but I have been enjoying the rolled ones more. So I, I don't know if I'm in America, I don't know if they are in the store. If you know, let me know. I tried to find, but I'm not sure. Um, if I'm in the store, definitely gonna buy more of these. If not, I'm just gonna use like shipping company or something to order more. I did order a new thing, so. Yeah, so this is it for for the makeup, for, for the project pen products. Um, if you wanna know what I used up this year ooh, and what like what I emptied uh, makeup wise, stay tuned for the video and enter the giveaway if you're interested. Yeah. And I will see you in another project fan video. I think already next year we're gonna choose new products, gonna focus on them, hopefully use up a few of these. The remaining one I'm gonna update you as well then. And yeah, have great holidays. Happy New Year's, Merry Christmas, but I will see you in another video before New Year's as well. So yeah, have a good day. Bye.